Hello, Monetization Nation. Welcome back. In our previous episode, we talked about four business lessons learned during the pandemic, such as being quick to pivot or change, the advantages of working remotely, diversifying revenue streams, and showing more compassion and patience for others. In the second episode, we will discuss five more business lessons we can learn from the pandemic, including number five, investing in technology, number six, how marketing budgets are essential, number seven, changes that are here to stay, number eight, family connection and its importance, and number nine, how things will get better. Tectonic shifts are constantly transforming the earth and business, causing destruction and huge growth opportunities. I'm Nathan William, the host of Monetization Nation, where we learn how to leverage business tectonic shifts to transform monetization. So let's talk about number five, investing in technology. Zenefits wrote, quote, having technology in a place with employees trained to use it may have been the difference between seamlessly shifting to remote work and lagging behind. Whether it's teaching employees how to use online meetings or making sure your website and order functions can meet demand, an investment in technology is always sound. Prepping for the future includes making sure your organization is ready to meet demand, whatever its source, unquote. Everyone was caught off guard by the effects of the worldwide pandemic. Toilet paper was in short supply. Hand sanitizer was almost non-existent. Graduations were canceled and social distancing became crucial. Many businesses were forced to target and service customers much more online. Restaurants were forced to do curbside pickup and other businesses had to think quickly to adapt to the sudden circumstances. A very large impact from COVID has been learning how to best navigate and implement digital technology in order to reduce in-person interactions and protect the health of workers. According to Scott Clark on Reworked, even if a business plans to move workers back to the office, many employees are reluctant to go back. He also mentioned that in a July 2020 survey conducted by Azureite Consulting, 25% of office workers say they would quit if they were asked to return to the office too soon. Another 37% said they have a better work-life balance by working remotely, and 82% said virtual conferencing tools are just as effective as in-person meetings. Okay, let's talk a little bit about augmented workforces. Technology is allowing us to augment our workforces. According to ISHN, augmented workforces learn fast, focus on value-adding activities, and are overwhelmingly customer-centric. ISHN published, quote, by 2025, I believe there will be a mix of four to five bots or virtual assistants or RPA processes per employee in all types of companies. Almost 30% of every job has some level of automation potential. If companies can redefine their strategic workforce planning to beyond just planning productivity with humans, they will multiply their customer value while actually creating more jobs in other areas of the economy." Unquote. Okay, on to cloud-based technology. Using cloud-based communications has become essential to businesses. Replicon published, quote, as on-demand needs skyrocket, the cloud responds in turn, providing anyone with an internet connection unlimited access to a vast collection of applications and tools. Organizations offering SaaS are already intimately aware of advantages a cloud delivery model can enable, including the ability to share one infrastructure among multiple customers." Unquote. Tech Republic published about a survey that, quote, the majority of respondents, or 67%, said they agree or strongly agree that the pandemic accelerated their adoption of cloud-based communications and collaborations and productivity tools. Ultimately, respondents confirmed that digital collaboration tools are the new normal and will remain a staple well after the pandemic, particularly video conferencing, unquote. Okay, the sixth lesson learned from the pandemic is that marketing budgets are essential. Many different aspects of work and living have been deemed essential. Having a marketing budget is one essential element of business. Marketing requires a lot of strategy, time, and consistency in order to see results. So when we step back from marketing, it can be dangerous to the long-term well-being of any business. Aegis Insurance Markets said, quote, use tough times to reevaluate your marketing and get creative with your budget, but keep the pedal to the metal when it comes to building brand awareness and connecting with your audience, unquote. 
I remember a story uh, back when the dot-com bubble burst. After that happened, many companies pulled their advertising out completely and it left a, a glut of available advertising inventory. And some companies, such as classmates.com, decided to double down on their advertising. Not only did they spend more money and continue to spend, but because so many people had pulled out, they were able to acquire more advertising for the same budget. And it, it fueled huge growth for their organization. So maybe we look at crisis as a time to double down on advertising and go the opposite direction that others are going when they flee from the advertising and, and marketing opportunities in a bad economy. Okay, the seventh lesson learned from the pandemic are that changes are here to stay. The Post Crescent published, quote, Jim Sullivan cautions his clients that normal isn't coming back. Many pandemic changes are likely to become permanent, like boomers using third-party apps for food delivery and QR codes replacing paper menus. Short list of lessons learned, quote, touchless payment, dedicated pickup area slash window, contactless delivery, speed and accuracy, and latex gloves, unquote. Working remotely is another tectonic shift that has kept businesses alive during the pandemic. Keep food on the tables and provided many individuals with hope. According to a Gartner survey, leaders have come to realize remote workers are capable of being just as engaged and productive as they were in the office. A report from the Society for Human Resource Management and Oxford Economics showed that 64% of salaried and 49% of hourly employees are working remotely most of the time, up from 3% and 2% in January of 2020. As far back as March, 74% of CFOs planned to transition additional on-site employees to remote workspaces permanently after the COVID-19 crisis ends. The eighth lesson learned from the pandemic is the priority of family connection. Amongst all the changes, crises, and disruptions that our world has been facing recently, I hope each of us has been able to reflect and remember those things that are most important in life. The ninth lesson learned from the pandemic is things will get better. Dieter F. Uchtdorf said, quote, what you see and experience now is not what forever will be, unquote. This past year and right now, has been a very difficult time. We have all experienced changes. We have all experienced loneliness or isolation in one way or another. We have all experienced loss in one way or another. I would like to leave a hopeful reminder, an expectation almost, that things will get better. Susan Gilroy said on allbusiness.com, quote, think of those who survived the Great Depression or World War II or 9-11. Name your devastation and they all have one thing in common. Eventually, things got better. Yes, the trauma and financial impact may live on longer, but we will survive this. We've just got to keep positive and know that good things are coming. Here's some of my key takeaways from this episode. Number one, let's invest in technology. COVID-19 has forced many businesses to take an online approach and work more remotely. Number two, marketing our businesses is essential. When times are tough, it might not be wise to turn off our advertising and marketing. Number three, many pandemic changes will become permanent. Working remotely is one of those changes that businesses have adapted to and in many cases found to be very productive for them, their employees, and their clients. Number four, family is so very important. Let's focus more on those things that are most important to us. Number five, things will get better. What we are experiencing now will not forever remain. We can be hopeful and know that good things are coming. Did you like today's episode? Then please follow these channels to receive free digital monetization content. Number one, you can get a free monetization assessment of your business or subscribe to the monetization e-magazine at monetizationnation.com. Number two, you can subscribe to the Monetization Nation podcast and YouTube channel. And number three, please follow Monetization Nation on Instagram and Twitter. What business lessons have you learned from the pandemic? Please join our private Monetization Nation Facebook group and share your insights with other digital monetizers. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I hope you have a great day. Do you want to become a better digital monetizer? To receive great monetization stories and secrets, 
please go to monetizationnation.com and join free. And if you liked today's episode, please subscribe to the show and share it.